Let's talk about one of the best practices that you have to follow for adding measures to your power pivot. So most of us, when we want to add a measure, what we do is we go to power pivot and then you click on measure, we do new measure. And here two things will happen. Number one is I will get the table name of the first table that I added in my model. So if I have a measure table, I have always to open this and then search for my table. And two, we will tend to add the measures within the tables that we have. So when we want to put a measure, we have to remember in which table did I add the measure and then I can use it. Well, I advise you, number one is to create always a table measure before you build your model. And I'm gonna show you this. And number two, in this table measure, you need to put all your measures so you can find them easily. So let's start again. In this, you can see that I've added my model, so I'm gonna create a new Excel sheet. And basically the first table that you will add in your model will be the table that will be the default all the time. So to add a table that has measures, I can just copy one cell with Control C, and then I can go and do Power Pivot, Manage, you can see that here I have nothing, so I can do paste and then I can call it measures table and then I will say okay. Once you do this, it will create a table for you. You just come here, you right click and you do hide from client tools. Once you do this, this is gone. Nobody can see it anymore and you come back normally. Now I'm gonna bring my model to the Excel sheet. So I taught you in the previous lesson how to do this. I'm just gonna copy this. If you don't know how to do it, please look back at the previous lesson. There'll be a link in the description so you can see how we can import a model. I'm just gonna paste this here and you're gonna see all my connection and my power pivot. If I go and I want to add now a measure, I can click here, new measure, First of all, you can see that my measures table come first before all of them. And here I'm going to call it M1 and I'm going to do, for example, equal sum of sales. So this is sales. We just close it and we say, OK. And you can see that I get a table with this icon and I get my measure. So here I can put all my measures and it will be easy to add them to my charts or my graphs or my power pivots. So I hope you find this tip useful. Trust me, in Excel, you will get data as you go along and then it's gonna become messier and messier. If you don't fix it from the beginning, you will struggle later to remember what you have done. So this is one way to make things clean, easy. And if somebody else works on the file, he or she will be able to understand what you did very easily. And if you like this tip, please comment in the comment section and like this video and subscribe to the channel.